everyone, and welcome to another week of freeze frame. During freeze frame, we're freezing our faces to help us learn about the miracles of Jesus and to discover what it's like to have the power of Jesus in our lives. For starters, though, I think we should do some facial stretching exercises. Mm -hmm. It would be terrible if someone pulled a face muscle. We're going to do some giant face and tiny face stretching. Okay. So giant face, tiny face, giant face, tiny face, giant face, tiny face, giant, tiny. Nice work. I think we're ready now. I think so too. But before we get started with today's true Bible story, I want to ask you a question. Do you ever feel like you only have a tiny bit that you can give to Jesus? Do you ever feel like you only have a tiny bit of time or a tiny bit of talent or a tiny bit of money to give Jesus? That's how the boy in our story for today probably felt. He only had a tiny bit to give to Jesus, but he gave it all and Jesus did big things with it. I think we should get started now. I'm going to need some help. On the count of three, think of the most famous person you can think of. One. Two, three. Those are some pretty famous people. In the Bible, it says that Jesus was starting to get pretty famous, but not for playing a sport or for being in a movie or a TV show, but he was getting pretty famous for teaching people about the love of God and for doing miracles. In fact, Jesus had become so famous that people would travel from all over just to see and hear him. One day, a huge crowd of people gathered to hear Jesus talk. The Bible says that there were over 5,000 men, and that's not even counting all the women and children too. Three, two, one, free frame. The people were amazed by the things that Jesus were say was saying. He taught all day long, but nobody left because they didn't want to miss a single word. Ready? Three, two, one, freeze frame. As lunchtime passed, the people started to feel a little bit hungry. Three, two, one, freeze frame. As the afternoon passed, the people started to get even hungrier. One more time. Three, two, one, freeze frame. And as dinner time passed, the people were even more hungry. They could barely hear Jesus over the grumbling stomachs. Around this time, the 12 disciples of Jesus started to worry. They were afraid that the people were going to starve. So they told Jesus that he should send some people away to get some food. But instead, Jesus told the disciples to feed the people themselves. Three. Two, one, freeze frame. The disciples were so confused. They thought, how in the world could we afford to buy food for this many people? Jesus wasn't worried, though. He sent his disciples into the crowd to see how much food they could find. And when the disciples came back, they had a young boy with them. And the boy was holding his dinner in his hand. Five small loaves of bread and two small fish. And that's all the food that they could find in the whole crowd. Do you think that would be enough to feed a huge crowd of people? No way. This is about how much they would get if everyone ate. That is definitely not enough food. Nevertheless, even though it was just a tiny bit of food, the boy gave everything he had to Jesus. Fortunately for the crowd, Jesus can do big things with the little bit that we give him. Jesus took the bread and the fish and he thanked God for them and then he broke them into pieces. And he started handing them out to the people in the crowd. 10, 20, 50 people were given food, but there was still food left. 100, 200, 500 people were given food, but there was still food left. 1,000, 2,000. 5,000 people were given food, but there was still food left. Ready? Three, two, one, freeze frame. 
even after the people were stuffed to the gills with food, there were still 12 baskets of food left over. It was a miracle. Only Jesus could have taken something so tiny and done something so big with it. Isn't that amazing? That the little boy only had five small loaves of bread and two small fish. He never could have imagined that this little bit of food would feed more than 5,000 people. But he gave the little bit he had to Jesus, and Jesus did big things with it. So earlier, I asked you if you ever feel like that little boy, like you only have a little bit to give to Jesus. It's easy to think that your tiny bit of time or your tiny bit of talent or your tiny bit of money couldn't make a big difference in the world. But when we give the tiny bit we have to Jesus, he is able to do big things with it, far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. In fact, that's what our Bible verse for today says. Ephesians 3.20 says, God is able to do far more than we could ever ask or imagine. He does everything by his power that is working in us. Because of his power, Jesus can take our tiny bit of time, our tiny bit of talent, or our tiny bit of money and do far more with it than we could ever ask for or imagine. Imagine for a minute how Jesus could use your small gifts to do big things. Imagine if you shared a few small words of encouragement with a friend who was discouraged. Jesus could use those few words to make a big difference in their life. Imagine that you spent a small amount of time running a lemonade stand and raising money for a missionary. Jesus could do big things with that small amount of money and to spread his good news all over the world. And sometimes we don't give our talent, our time, our money to Jesus because we don't think we have enough to make any difference. That's not true. Even if you only have a tiny bit to give, give it to Jesus and he can do big things with it. Let's pray together. So God, we thank you that you can take our little bit that we have to offer and to do big things with it, God. We pray that we just continue to offer what we can give to you and we ask for you to do big things for your kingdom. So it's in your name we pray, amen. Amen. Now it's time for a blessing. So hold out your hands to receive it. May you always remember that even if it seems small, Jesus can take your small gifts and use them for big things. He is able to do far more than we could ever ask for in that. Today's prayer prompt is to write a prayer to Jesus. Tell him how amazing he is for doing big things with the little bit that you give him. Today's journal prompt is to think about a time when you gave something small to Jesus but he did something really big with it. Maybe that was a few encouraging words or a small amount of time for doing something nice, but it made a big difference for someone. Write about that. Today's Bible prompt is to read it for yourself in John 6, 1 through 14. Draw a picture of the story and write to God about your favorite part and tell him why you liked it. The art prompt is to think of something that you can give to Jesus and draw a picture of it. 